welcome back at 642. When the topic of food comes up in San Antonio, a lot of people talk about tacos. Well, the evolution of tacos was a topic of discussion at a recent UTSA virtual panel. RJ Marquez checked out the panel that looked at everything you need to know about tacos, Texas, and tradition. From puffy to breakfast to street, San Antonio loves its tacos. The taco is an American staple. It has been transformed in the brief span of 50 years. The puffy taco is San Antonio's signature taco. Ray's Drive-In is considered to be the home of the original puffy taco. Nowadays, some of the most popular puffy tacos are served at the restaurants owned by the Barrios family. Diana Barrios Trevino said her parents started to serve the puffy taco from a small local restaurant called La Palmita. That is where my mother learned to make the puffy taco. She didn't, you know, create it, but so we've had it on our menu since 1972. And, you know, it really is uh, a little taste of heaven. Years before that, the taco was already making its way to the mainstream USA after food producer George Ashley started packaging and selling canned tortillas. His ingenious thing was to sell the tortillas to Midwestern housewives in the 1950s. He created a taco kit. That led to the creation and expansion of Mexican fast food restaurants like Taco Bell and Del Taco. And then God bless those Mexicanos, the people from Mexico in the 1970s and 80s who started coming up to the United States and spread the real taquero gospel all across the country. The taco has become so popular, a Netflix docu-series called The Taco Chronicles was created to celebrate the food, the people who make them, and its origins. Something that's been important to me is to show how, uh, how essential the, the movement of people is within Mexico, but also crossing borders, is to to maintain these lively food ways. So what makes a great taco? No matter what you put in or on a taco, it basically comes down to how good and fresh are the tortillas. It's those tortillas to me that define what San Antonio does especially well, because if it's, whether it's a, a corn tortilla with al pastor or just a, a beautiful flour tortilla with bean and cheese, those are defining characteristics of those tacos to me. So what are the next taco trends? The UTSA panel discussed things like barbacoa grilled cheese taco, vegan, sushi, and infused tacos. And what about wood grilled tacos? The guys over the wood grill, he's got apple wood, cherry wood, all kinds of woods for whatever particular protein that he has. Another popular trend, birria de res tacos, which is a Mexican beef-based soup. No matter what the trend is, everyone on the panel said the taco shows no signs of slowing down. The taco is the, um, the best ambassador Mexico will ever have. And with every bite, that uh, whoever's eating this taco, it's a victory for us and it's slowly getting us to a better place. You can check out the full Taco Talk on UTSA's Food for Thought series, which is on their website and on YouTube. You can also find more information on KSAT.com. RJ Marcus, KSAT 12 News.